All right, folks, I want to try a new kind of video today. As you can see, I've got my hands on an HTC Vive, which should make for entertaining videos. Let me know what you think. Uh, right now, I want to show you a bit of super hot VR. That should be amusing to watch, I think. All right, so I got this headset a couple of months ago and did not have much time for it for a while because that book that ended up very busy didn't have an opportunity to record yet but right now is the perfect time because for one i injured my lower back recently yeah i know the number of times i've been, I've been getting injured in the past three years is too damn high but this kind of very light fun exercise should help with that and there's not too much else i can do right now the weather hasn't been playing nice so this should be interesting as you can see here i beat the game once but uh, it's been a little bit so let's see if i've gotten rusty so i've got to get my hands it's kind of funny to see the hands on my side get your hands out of your pockets young man huh okay i accidentally picked up one of these without even using that speed run mm. <laughs> shall we do that no, I think in order to show the game, it's better to do, let's say, the Don't Die challenge. I like how it says, give it a try. Give mass murder a try. I mean, it's self-defense, but still. So, the fisticuffs here is kind of funny. I, real I noticed that the game actually does not encourage proper form. Because if you do this kind of tight hook, you know, the better it technically is the worse it is in the game because it limits the reach it's actually it encourages these big haymakers or even just not throwing proper punches but just doing this that's actually the most efficient in the game but uh, yeah big surprise it's not a martial arts simulator so that was close uh oh <laughs> i accidentally hit this that's not good we don't want that right now Okay, so you go down and you go down. Can this disappear now? Yeah, there we go. Okay, ashtray for you, cup for you, and cup for you. Yeah, and the calculator is mine, I guess. Um, no, don't want it. It's too brittle. Everything in this game is super brittle, and physics are weird. Destroy all the things, just because. All right. So, I'm of course going to do my usual occasional nitpicking with regards to uh, realism and logic and all that. Just because I'm an insufferable bastard like that. <laughs> I mean, don't even lie. A lot of you are here for just that. Don't you even lie about it. This is my gun now. Thank you very much, sir. You can go now. I said you can go. Do you not hear? Maybe this shot glass will help. Oh, I guess it doesn't. Head goes floaty. Okay. Low poly people are very fragile. Comes, that's the nature of being low poly, I guess. They're shiny though. So, um, if you're wondering whether experience with uh, real firearms gives you any kind of advantage in this game, not really. I mean, occasionally. So, if you, for example, want to make a pretty accurate long distance shot, you can line up the sights really nicely and slowly squeeze the trigger, which is going to be more accurate. But the more important thing here is actually leading the target and all of this. So, by the way, I have no idea what they were thinking when they designed this thing. Why does it have two front side posts? What on earth? How are you even supposed to aim with this? Like normally, sights, iron sights work like this. You have the front side post and the two rear side posts, and then you line them up like so. This, uh, are you supposed to put them exactly on the outside so you don't see them properly? I don't know. And also, they're off. You know, I would understand if they were exactly on the outside you know equal distance but 
it's not. This is completely crooked. What the hell? Piece of crap. <laughs> yes, I know. I said, don't you even lie. You like this. Well, some people get terribly butthurt whenever somebody talks about realism like this. But that's okay. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Now, shuriken to the crotch. Your legs are gone. Your legs are gone too. And your head is as well. And uh, gravity is really weird in this game. Not surprising, I guess. Cut you up for the shuriken. You can have the rest. Keep the change. You get shot in the crotch and... By the way, dual wielding is always tricky, even in this game. Simply because it's not physically possible to aim in two directions at once. Why are you so tall? How dare you be taller than average, sir? I am offend. But I'm going to tell you a secret. I ended your mother rightly. Bitch slap! He seems to like that. Look at how he pokes his butt in the air. Anyway. And you get lost. This is the this guy is the real problem. And yes, you can block bullets with your weapons. That would be convenient, wouldn't it? So that is some seriously weird stuff. You can... <laughs> bullets can hit these guns and they are fine, but even if I just drop it on the floor, look what happens. What is this? <laughs> Lego guns? Anyway... How about you don't? So, uh, dual wheeling. I was talking about dual wheeling. So, as I said, the problem is you can't really aim in two directions at once. So the best you can do is kind of vaguely, instinctively point and shoot and hope for the best. But of course, because you have this superpower in this game, you can take all your time to line up both. So I'm going to show that as soon as I can. Well, this is a noise knife, isn't it? That's a noise shotgun. But you don't need that arm, dude. Let me have this, and this, and, uh, yeah, that's good. If only these knives weren't made of putty. That's also a nice knife. Thank you. And, uh, you are the bigger problem. Hopefully I can get you with this. Bottle for your face, and bullet for your crotch. No, not really. So, what you can, of course, do is take all the time in the world to aim. And then just barely dodge those. Nice shotgun. It's mine now. Okay. Oh, that's neat. Pistol against a dude with an axe? That's not fair. I'm just gonna shoot the other dude. Grab your axe, because you're terrible at judging distance. And, uh, yeah, great. I can't even do anything with it. It's nice, though. Pretty one. Oh, hey! What's up? Bullet dance. Yeah, how do you like that? Gun in your face. What else we got? Bam, bam. How about no? <laughs> this is all you need. Just have to bonk him on the head a little bit and then you can shoot him in the butt. And that's it. There's a dude and there are dudes. Okay. Last words. How about fuck you? <laughs> that was close. Oh, really? That didn't count? That was at the same time! Come on, game. No, that's okay. Let's do something else. How about senseless? Uh, endless, I mean. <laughs> Might as well be senseless. What shall we pick? Pizza, obviously. 
Everybody loves pizza. If you don't like pizza, then you're wrong. <laughs> you're a heretic if you don't like pizza. Okay, let me get proper stance here. Aim, lead the target. Didn't lead it enough. And now he ducks because it's a little bastard. <laughs> I found if you try to be fancy about this and, you know, do a proper stance and proper aiming and all of this, it actually often ends up being worse than if you just play it as a game and just, you know, spam everything with bullets and just go crazy. It seems to be more effective. Funny how that goes. You know what? I'm actually going to grab myself a shield like this because um, frying pan is invincible. <laughs> he didn't walk quite as fa far as I thought he would. And you get over here. Come on, come on, come on. There. If you throw anything at their thigh, it hurts them enough to kill them. So now, now it's sword and shield time. <laughs> um, kind of. <laughs> Budget sword and shield. Hey, I didn't mean to... <sighs> okay. This kind of annoys me. This thing that teleports you and kills everybody. Um, I wish this would only activate when you actually press the button, but it's enough to simply touch it. Okay. And what should I take? Camera. And mug. So I could make it easier for myself and just crouch behind this table, which gives me some cover. But uh, that makes it a little too easy, doesn't it? Instead, uh oh. No, you're unarmed. I'm not going to be too mean to you. Um, you are armed. You're a bunch of meanies. Ganging up on a, on a superhero like this. That's not nice. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So yeah, this is pretty much the ultimate superpower. You know, it doesn't actually matter at what speed you really move. Um, if you've got the ability to, oops, die. If you've got the ability to die, you're unstoppable. Um, I mean, if you've got the ability to like, think fast enough and plan uh, before the enemies can even move, then you've got a pretty good chance because then you know exactly what they're about to do like a couple of seconds before they do it, or milliseconds actually. Uh, but, but leg, what? What even is? <laughs> And of course, the character also totally cheats because low poly people are the easiest kind of target. You hit them anywhere and they explode. Why did I even shoot them twice? I don't even know. Okay, you, and you, no, I don't have anything left. I really need to get into the habit of counting. Oh crap. Again, not what I wanted, but in this case it helped. So you can also pretty much um, regulate the game's difficulty. Oh crap. Based on how quickly you move. The faster you move, the faster they move. And the harder it is. Therefore, hey, what? I didn't even touch the thing. Get lost. Hey, I'm not, I swear, I'm not doing anything here. <laughs> Why is it doing this? Stop it. That's the first time it does that, anyway. Okay, you go down, you go down.
in endless mode. I, for the most part, don't really care if they're armed or not. It's kind of fun to... Oh, crap. It's kind of fun to pretend that you have a code of honor, <laughs> that you don't shoot anybody who's unarmed or only has a melee weapon. But this is just too much stress. Okay. Yeah, you can cut bullets too. Let me just swap hands here real quick. Ugh. Okay, fine. All right, let's try this again. Get my trusty frying pan of doom. Uh, oh, I was going to say close, but it did actually hit him. There. No. <laughs> I don't think I can get him all the way there, but maybe I can. <laughs> Throwing in this game takes a little bit of practice. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Next. Well, who's next? Come on. Your face. Your face is next. And <laughs> he just about evaded it. Here. I would have hit him if he had stayed there. I guess. Which is not very helpful. Shotgun. Shotgun for the win. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, he did not approve of that, I think. Ooh. Damn it, I hate when I just hit the bullets instead of them. I mean, it's still useful, but oh crap. Good. This is mine, this is mine. Uh oh. Your face is mine! <laughs> Yeah, taking cover is definitely useful. Underrated in some games, but not here. Oh, crap. Oh, there's stuff going on. Well then. Can I get you? Probably not. But I can get you, just about. Here, and you can eat it. In fact, all of you can eat it. Oh, hello there, abandoned pistol. Don't run so fast. How dare you? Mm, nope. Oh, hi. How's it going? <laughs> Clunk. That was kind of funny. Uh oh. Should I sacrifice my pan? Uh, yes, I have more. That's fine. I've got one more. But I kind of want it in the other hand. Well, can't be helped right now. Okay, tactical swap. Huh? What even? Okay, I don't know how that happened. But that's... Actually, that's not okay at all. Because I'm totally exposed. I've got no weapon. Except... <sighs> I've got this ultra long reach. There we go. No, you don't. And you don't either. You most certainly don't. Hmm. I would like those dudes to come a little closer so I can get their shotguns, but that's too dangerous. No, there's no way I can. Wait, maybe? Maybe, maybe? Let me try. If I can reach for it. Yes! Excellent. Um, boom. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you for arming me. Okay. This is getting intense here. Oh! <laughs> All right. Well then, it wasn't too terrible, I guess. So, let's leave it at that for right now. Let me know what you think if you enjoy this kind of video and if you have any other games to suggest or if you have any questions about 
you know, how certain things work in VR versus real life or anything like that. Just anything you feel like really. Post it down below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.